Sran Chucho, Tadua. Good afternoon, everyone. I hope you're all doing well. This is David Hoffman from David's Bin here, coming at you from Jilan, Kosovo, a town in the eastern part of Kosovo, southeast on the border with Serbia and Macedonia. It takes only a one hour drive to get here from the capital, and we're gonna be staying here for two nights, and we're gonna explore the city today. My friend, what do you know about this place? So we know about this place. This is, as you mentioned, it's the one of the biggest city in southeastern Kosovo. Jilan is so famous because of uh, a lot of traditional restaurants here, and we are going to enjoy one of them now for lunch but the architecture of this city is so so different from from the rest of Kosovo so you can see here a lot a lot of buildings uh, all people who have been immigrating out of Kosovo they've come back and have they invest a lot to make this city more and more better in the architecture. Yeah, so it's one main road to get in, and as you can see to the left and the right, you have markets, you have a lot of automotive shops, so a lot of car shops, and once you pass all this, we're gonna get to the middle, to the center, right? And in the center, yeah, from what I saw online, it's like statues, uh, really traditional, really old school Kosovo. And I feel people here are very, very welcome, so it's, uh... It's very near with Serbia and Macedonia, but here they are, I feel they are more, more Kosovo Albanian people. Yeah, exactly. So guys, get ready, we're gonna explore, we're gonna see some attractions, we're gonna eat some food, let's do it. This is uh, typical in Kosovo, traffic. Yeah, traffic, but I'm uh, really liking the city center, it looks very colorful, maybe because of flowers. Yeah, lots of people out, everybody's walking around. You have beautiful buildings, really old school, right? You have a few mosques, lots of statues. See, I right really there, admire, yeah. lots of statues. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna eat and then we're gonna come back and walk around in this whole area. And this is it, restaurant Chucho, since 1996. I think it's up here. So I'm here in the kitchen, super tight. We're making some beef, right? Yeah. So he just pounded the beef, threw it on the grill, and that's our beef. Plus we're gonna have some salad and some boneless chicken. It's just the best boneless chicken in Kosovo. Right? You're welcome. Thank you. Restaurant Chucho is amazing. It's located in an old house, over 100 years old, family owned business. At the top, you have a small dining area, but once you pass through the kitchen area, you come outside and they have this beautiful terrace, really rustic, beautiful. They have antiques, they have rakia here, they have wine, they have beer, they have all this, so firewood. Then they have over here like old wines. They also have a picture of the, the grandfather and they have a few photos of celebrities who have been here. And right now we're gonna start off with a salad. We just saw how they're making the beef and also the bread. And we're gonna start off with this amazing salad. So we have super fresh salad. You have lettuce, carrots, tomatoes, cucumbers, beets, and cabbage, as well as potato salad with a cheese, local cheese. So I'm gonna just jump on this one right here. Amazing salad, look at this, how fresh this is. Wow. Mm. Oh man, so fresh. So right here we have cabbage, the best. Mm-hmm. Super fresh ingredients, always the best. You know, when you go to local, you know, smaller towns in the middle of like these communities, you always get fresh, fresh ingredients. Mm-hmm. You gotta slow down with salad. I don't wanna fill up too much. Mm. Next up, I'm gonna try the potato salad with the cheese. Look at that. Wow, it looks phenomenal. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. Wow. The cheese? Dense cheese. Mm. A little potato salad. Oh, it feels like it's a... It must be like red pepper in that, right? It's a little spicy. The owner was telling me this is like a super local cheese from a farm nearby. It's amazing. Mm-hmm. Mm. This one's almost like a dense mozzarella, like a super dense one. 
And the tomatoes, you said they're amazing? Well, he gave me a lot of tomatoes here. Mm hmm. Juicy. The burst. Mm. I'm already in love with this restaurant. Can't stop with the cabbage. And right here, we have the chicken. Look at this. I love it. So they put on a cutting board. All the meats come on a cutting board. Loving these tomatoes. Mm -hmm. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. Salam and daddy. Let's well, try this chicken first. All right, so we also have boneless chicken. So we're gonna try it with this garlic. So you said just to dip it. So I got them using my hands, but. Mmm. Mmm. Oh wow, so tasty. Mm. Loving the garlic sauce, right? Wow, so oily. But it's chicken, the best. The freshest chicken in Kosovo. Mm. I'm gonna finish the whole thing. We have to. Yeah, we don't leave so anything. Tasty. I worry we cannot finish the beef. The beef? The beef looks huge. Yeah. For sure we cannot. Yeah, a piece like that. But garlic gives another taste differently. Yeah, eating the chicken alone is okay, but adding the garlic sauce? Mm hmm. Another level. Mm. So you come to restaurant Chucho to eat two things the chicken, boneless chicken with garlic sauce, and the beef. Look at this beef. Oh, what is this? <laughs> oh my gosh. That's amazing. So he brought it here, he cut it in front of us, and here we go. Look at that, little mini marine. Mm. So I watched the steak be prepared, right? So he pounded it, put it on the grill, and we have it. Mm. Such a delicious meat. Tasty beef I've tried. I always do medium rare. Medium rare is the best, get a little bit of blood. And I'm also trying the most famous, best quality, right? Best quality rakia in all of Kosovo. It's called Karl Gega. Gega. Oh wow, this is an apple. Oh, I love the green. Look at this. Mm. Not so strong. Pretty good. The bottle says it's the best premium raki in all of Kosovo. I have to agree. Can't leave this. Just so you guys know, here in Kosovo, they eat a lot of meat and quantities are like in America. Huge quantities. So my friend, what do you think of the food? Amazing, right? I told you, like, uh, I was curious to try something traditional from uh, restaurants of, ja of Jilan, and uh, we did it. This is so special. Mm -hmm. We never tried this kind of serving, this big uh, beef, it was so big a portion. Yeah. I, I'm not sure, like, it is for one, for two, or for five, because... <laughs> <laughs> I, I think it's for at least four or five. For four people, I'm I mean, sure. we, we got half of it, and we still have the other half there. Yeah. I mean, we also ate huge salad huge salad I mean what a mix the chicken is fantastic I mean the, everything here is awesome when you come to Yilan you have to come to this restaurant it's right here in the center you know old school 100 year old house the family here is amazing my friend put them in daddy put them in daddy enjoy thank you so much thank you the food's too much too much enjoy <laughs> I gotta say, the family here is too much. My friends, my friends. Yeah, <laughs> yeah perfect. Tron Chucho, Tadua. What'd you think? Amazing, huh? Yeah, amazing. Welcoming from uh, people of Jilan. So we are super, super surprised by the hospitality. Too much, too much. That too family much. is amazing. amazing. They even gave me a gift, a cutting board 
with the restaurant name. I'm gonna put it on my wall. Really, really nice people. And now, we're walking in the center. We parked the car right here in front of the restaurant. And right in front, we have the main street, right? We're gonna walk straight in. We're gonna see some of the statues and see what else we can find in Jilan. So as every city in Jilan, also we have the gold market. So poor guys, poor men, they have to buy a lot of stuff, a lot of gold to their women, their girls. So here is like when you marry, when you engage, you have to bring your girlfriend here to buy some gold ring, bracelet, necklace, everything. So the gold market, as you can see over here, we have, wow, so they're very small shops. One, two, three, four, five, so a dozen over here, another dozen. So easy, like, you know, 20, 30 different shops. Wow, and it keeps going up all the way that way. So it's like a one small square with all the gold shops. Pretty amazing. You want to buy something? Like a million euros square. <laughs> a lot of gold here. My friend, what's your name? Agron. Agron? Yes. Pleasure, David. Nice to meet you. What do you want to buy for your wife? <laughs> I don't know, man. Yeah. What, what are you gonna buy? My girlfriend would like uh, some with this ring when I propose her to marry. So when you come to Yilan, you can come here to the gold market. You can shop for your wife, for your daughter, for your lover, whatever you want. And it's about 45 euro a gram. So like this one, the little heart, how much is that? Like two gram, three gram? Three grams. Three gram? Okay, so not so bad. So like a 150 euro? Uh, it's, not, it's not bad. I mean, even 5,000 euro you have to do, you have to show her you love her. <laughs> I mean, gold prices are the same worldwide. Obviously, the difference is what they make out of it, and that's how they change the price, right? Well, I'm not gonna buy anything because I bought my kids way too many things. <laughs> Thank you, Farmenderi. Next, uh, we'll walk through the boulevard of Jilan. We'll see many new, interesting stuff. To, to see, to record, because uh, Jilan is like when you come to these cities, it looks like it has nothing to offer. But if you walk and meet locals, you can find many, many interesting things. Like we saw now, gold market. I never knew like they have like a dozen of gold market over there. So right here, we're in the smack center of the city. It's a square, lots of coffee shops. Coffee culture here is huge. So coffee yeah. bar friends right there. That's amazing. Coffee, many coffee bars here. Many coffee bars. And over here we have our first statue. There's actually like five or six on this road. They love statues here. Nothing like Skopje. Nothing like Skopje. No, no. <laughs> the statues here have a meaning, a real meaning. In Skopje they just found like every everyone has a statue in Skopje. <laughs> yeah, I have a statue in Skopje. No, yeah. <laughs> you can buy, you can have a statue. So this is called, okay, so these are for like heroes, right? Yeah, should be some heroes. Usually it's people from the city who have become, you know, prominent, you know, poets, yeah. philosophers, etc. But in, in Kosovo you'll find more studies about the heroes of the wars and uh, so, because they deserve it, you know, they fight for their rights. He was a Idris, Mr. Idris Eferi, he was a part of uh, leadership type prison, a prison league we saw in prison. So during 1878, so he was part of the movement, Albania movement. So he fought also during the First World War to protect the country, Albanian country, Kosovo country. That time they were all together. I guess you guys don't know what the League of Prison was. That's when the 300 Albanian leaders gathered in prison to talk about how they're gonna fight off the Ottomans, you know, once they dissolved. So once you pass that statue, you enter into the city's park. Basically, the boardwalk converts into a park. Lots of trees, lots of benches. You can see a lot of old men just relaxing, hanging out. You see more busts, more statues, and this is it. Beautiful trees, really relaxing here. Oh, nice breeze. I'm really enjoying Jilan. Amazing people. We have some people with us, so friendly, so friendly. And yeah, this is a, this is a great place. Woo, I love Kosovo. So after you cross the, the main square where are many, a lot of statues, a lot of bars, a lot of shops, so you immediately will enter in the city's park. And here to the right we have obviously Skanderbeg. He has the crown with the goat, right? Yeah, yeah. Next up we're gonna go into a place called Papuko to have a raki, have some coffee and see you know what local life is like. Kazor. Kazor dude. So this is the same raki we had earlier, so smooth. Apple, nice. This place is awesome. Huge stairs. Inside is packed. Obviously, I'm being very, very incognito here. I don't want anybody to like, tell me anything, but yeah, really nice place. A lot of young people here. So, what's the average like age here? It's like 25, right? Everybody's very young. Everybody. So, we are old for this place. Yeah, we're, <laughs> we're like old. Being 35 is in the 25, dude. Yeah. 
So this bar reminds me of like an Irish pub inside. Really high ceilings. They have like the Mona Lisa over here. Brandy, whiskey, beer, champagne. You come here, you can drink coffees, Rockies, beer. At night, this place is popping. It's one of the best bars in all of Yilian. Right? Yeah. Right? You're right. <laughs> Another beautiful street of Yilian. Uh, so here, more bars. This is a... Uh, like a secret place. If you are not from Gila, you don't know this place. So you have to meet some local to show you this this beside bar. Yeah, I mean it's a hidden street, hidden bar, hidden street. More cafes and bars, and as you can see, kids in their little in their little like vehicles, right? And we're going to a place nearby that has bio food to see what they got. Uh, basically, they're from a farm, but they have a store here. We're gonna probably try some cheese, maybe some uh, some cured meat. Yeah, some Sujuku, probably. <laughs> Sujuku. For sure. After a five minute walk from the bar, we're here at AB Bio Farm. They have a farm about 50 kilometers from here, but they have this boutique where we can try some of their traditional products. They have marmalade, a sujo, they have honey. I mean, so many different things. Let's go inside, let's meet the owner, and let's try some delicious bio food. Wow, this shop is, is amazing. So they have everything that can be produced in a village. Like, for example, pickles, cucumber pickles, right? Wow. And they put always some leaves inside, like this one should be, mm, let me check. But right here, look at this. This is the suchu. Suchu? Oh my god, it's huge. Can I grab this? Wow, bro. Look at this. It's two meters. This is like four meters right here. Besides this, they also have cheese. They have marmalade, yeah. oils, jams. I mean, what is that? Salat. So salad. They have tomato paste. Ivar. Ivar. Over here they have cheese, so they have raw meat, so like you have to go home and cook it, right? And over here they have mishturan, more cheese, it's never ending stuff. And here we have so much honey. This is the best, the honey? Oh my god, AB Bio Farm. And uh, they have like a signature here, Blade Van, which means buy local. Buy local. So what do we try? My friend, what, what is this? Uh, cheese, Albanian cheese. Yeah, well, I think it's so good, it's a proper way to do it. It's so good, That's for you. Alright, my friends. Goat cheese, huh? Mm. I love how you make it in there. Sheep cheese? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so here's the sheep cheese. It's different. Goat cheese, sheep cheese. Mmm. This one's way more buttery. Mmm. Sounds good. I like the other one. Where is a different world? Molto bono. <laughs> <laughs> they have four different cheeses here, but now it's time to try their sujuk. They have a lot of different cheeses, I think, because we haven't tried yellow. Oh, and, yeah, yeah, over there they have more, but here they have. And here we have the king of Kosovo food. Albanian sujuk. Grilled? Not grilled. It's always tasty, but completely different. My turn. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. Nice. I love it like this. Mmm. It's buffed me up. Oh my god. This is so good. It's mushy. It's a little spicy. I thought the sauce is that, you know, we're back at that. Phenomenal. So good. We explored Jilan. It really surprised us. Every single person was so kind and generous. Wow, what an experience. Yeah, from now on, man, Jilan is my favorite city in, in Kosovo. Definitely is my favorite. Yeah, we started off right here at Chucho restaurant since 1996, serving the best steaks in Kosovo. Then from here, we went and we explored the town. We saw the gold market. We saw the main pedestrian street. Then we had a nice Rocky at that bar. Yeah, the bar is a cozy bar, like right uh, beside the, the main center. So you have to know some locals. Thanks to Ilir, he bring us around. He show us the best places uh, in Jilan. And then after that, we went to the AB Bio Farm. We tried some cheese, some chucho, and? And we got a very, very tasty honey. Very tasty honey. Yeah. Everybody gave us a gift. That is how friendly this place is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we, someone, someone like from uh, Card Giga, yeah, yeah, Kargega Raki, the Raki place, they give us two bottles of Raki. Really amazing. Yeah. Well guys, I hope you love this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below, subscribe my channel for more awesome travel content. We'll see you in the next travel food adventure in Kosovo. Let's go.